Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I am going to show you about the calculation of a movie that is variester, right? So how will you calculate the MOV value? How will you select the MOV for your particular application? And how will you select the MOV for your surge protection? So I will show you today step by step procedure to calculate the MOV value. Okay. So let us let us understand this today. So you can see here uh, if you know the IC standard IC six one triple zero four dash five, which says that for the level let's say for the class four, your surge voltage is plus minus four kV. So what is this? This is basically this is nothing but basically a surge generator open circuit voltage. Okay. So that is that is you can say that is Thanvin Thanvin voltage. Okay. So this is 4 kV surge generator open circuit voltage or Thanvin voltage, right? And if you look the standard, you can find the impedance of surge generator. Okay. So let us say the surge generator in internal impedance is S surge impedance equals to 2. 2 ohm now now what will you do you you have to find out the surge generator short circuit current so this is surge generator short circuit current so i surge maximum is given by v surge divided by s surge impedance so that means 4 kv divided by 2 kv you will get 2 kilo ampere current r 2000 ampere current so let us say you want to design your move which can withstand the surge pulse or surge pulse of 1000 so so you have to design your surge uh, you have to select your mov which can withstand the surge strike of 1000 number of strike withstanding capability of move that let us assume you have to design for 1000 pulse right and let us say your rms input voltage is 450 volt or your input voltage is 450 volt so at least you have to select the surge which is 1.2 times greater than your rate is rated rms voltage for this case let us say your your RMS voltage is 450 volt. You may select the surge that is that is rated for 680 volt RMS voltage, right? So, so if you if you see this is this is the 20 mm parts I have selected here V130LA 5C, right? V680LA 10C. So, so let us say. You have calculated your current is to 2000 amperes. If you go and see in this graph, you can see this is the line for 2000 ampere. And if you, if you try to find out here, you may find the maximum clamping voltage that is around that is around. Let's say for 2000 ampere, your maximum clamping voltage is 2.2 kV are 20 2200 volt okay if you if you trace with this plot you can find your clamping voltage now this is your clamping voltage 2.2 kv you have got your surge voltage that is 4 kv and if you want to find out the voltage across your mov which is given by v surge minus v clamp 4000 minus 4 kV minus 2.2 kV you will get 1.8 kV and now you can find the MOV current current flowing through the MOV which is gained when by V ohm V MOV divided by surge impedance you will get 1.8 kV divided by 2 ohm you will get 900 ampere right now you want to you want to understand considering the 900 ampere current through mov it can withstand the thousand strike 
so you can see this plot repetitive surge capability for 20 mm parts right if you see here there is a plot which is given the surge duration is given here this is the surge duration and you can see here this is the rated surge current right rated surge current and let us see for the surge uh, particular surge current and surge duration if your MOV meets the thousand strike right how will you see here so let us say this is your surge duration is as you know here your surge duration is how much this is 20 microsecond so this is 10 microsecond and this is 20 microsecond and let us say your current is you can see you have calculated your current here is 900 ampere so you can see here this is the this is the line for 900 milliampere and you can see this is this is the uh, repetitive surge capability given here so you can see this is the 10 to the power 3 that means thousand strike that means what does it mean if your surge surge pulse duration is 20 microsecond and your peak surge current is 900 ampere your mov will withstand up to thousand strike it won't break before the thousand strike so this is the guys this is very important to understand how will you define your surge strikes right surge strike so if your duration is 20 microsecond your current is 900 ampere your mov will withstand the thousand strike so that is what I wanted to tell you. Now let us go and find out some more parameter here. Energy and power dissipation. Since you know that the, your surge duration is 20 microsecond. Let's say surge current is 20 microsecond. And if you want to find out the energy which is given by V clamp minus V clamp into IMOV into the surge, surge duration. You can find this is 39.6 j and if you look and see the data sheet you can find the it says it can uh, the surge surge energy is 520 joule so your calculated value is 39.6 while your data sheet says it's 520 that means you are far away safe you are you are safe here right and you can find the since you know the surge pulse is every after 60 second you can find you can find the energy power power defined by e defined by time and you can find this is 6.6 .6 watt right so i hope guys now you are able to select design design and calculate the move for your particular application make sure that you have to select your mov based on the your rms voltage you you have to decide your clamping voltage based on your external circuitry like how uh, what is your mosfet rating what is the i your like ic rating etc what is your diode rating so considering that parameter you have to define your clamping voltage then you have to define your number of strike you have to define your number strike number of strike you want to also make sure that your selected surge meets the energy criteria power and energy criteria you have to also be very sure that yeah it should uh, the leakage current of your mov is not more right so hope you understood and uh, now at least understood how will you go how will you start with your design if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video guys thanks